in previous video we created iSCSI targets and iSCSI initiators now the operating system can see four disks that's because both the NIC cards can see two disks each so the OS assumes as if there are four disks now if we see the disk management here also we can see four disks one two three and four here MPIO comes into picture it basically combines or merge multiple disks with identical disk signature and shows them as one there are multiple softwares available out there in the market almost every vendor provides its own version of MPIO software for example EMC PowerPath, Veritas Storage Foundation and so on here we will be installing the built-in MPIO tool that is available with Windows 2008 and Windows 2012 so let's go to the server manager and go to features add features multipath install after the installation is complete we will configure MPIO so I'll keep device manager next to it so open MPIO go to discovered multipaths and select add support for MP iSCSI devices and select add as soon as you click on add button it enables multipathing on the disks that we can see in device manager you will see how the disk changes as I click on add button see now previously we were we could see four disks four SCSI disks but now we can see two multi-part devices or multi-part disks so we will restart the computer now so now our machine is back on let's go to device manager if we see now it shows us as multipathing disks so if we go to the properties of disk we can see another type called multipath or MPIO tab so here we can select the MPIO policies there are multiple policies like round robin list queue depth fill over only and so on so any of the policies can be selected depending on the requirement of the environment here below we can see the number of paths available right now both the paths are available because both the NIC cards are on now let's go to disk management here also now I can see two disks so I'll just initialize them and format them so now if I go to computer my computer I can see two volumes there E and F I can access them very well I can create folders and files now let's simulate a failure I'll disable one of the NIC cards to simulate failure of one of the paths so let's disable this NIC card so now we have one path failed now let's open event viewer in the system events I can see a failure a failure event so it says connection to the target was lost 
also we can see few more events so now let's open device manager now here under disks I can see one path so one path has gone it's failed for both the disks I can see only one path now few more errors related to MPIO it says failover on disk MPIO disk 1 occurred it basically means the NIC card that was being used for disk IO is now disabled so that's why it failed over to the next NIC card so let's see if we can still access those disks again my computer I can still very well access those disks I can create files and folders now let's enable the NIC card again let's see if there are any events in event viewer okay we can again see few events for example this a connection to the target target was lost but initiator successfully reconnected so as we enabled the NIC card it managed to connect again to the lost path it says added device MPI disk 0 same with disk 1 so again if we open device manager I can again see both paths active so this is how MPIO works in case if there is any failure in any of the components it basically prevents outage of storage device and provides high availability to the production service I hope you like this video